Pisces. This is your December 8th, 2022 daily tarot reading. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Pisces for December the 8th, 2022. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Pisces for December the 8th, 2022. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Pisces for December the 8th, 2022. Show me. <clears throat> Excuse me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. So, Pisces. These are your cards, Pisces. So, Pisces, you have the three of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is, we are reunited, and it feels so good. Let's go out, eat, drink, and be merry, and celebrate. Celebrate that we're reunited, and it feels so good. But this can also speak to there being a third-party situation going on. So, Pisces, listen, you can tell me you have just cause to celebrate party over here, honey. You can tell me that you guys are reuniting, or there's a third party Clarify the three of cups for Pisces. Clarify the three of cups for Pisces. Clarify the three of cups for Pisces. It is clarified with the Knight of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone rushing into you or you're rushing into someone. Demanding truth. Demanding clarity. Speaking your truth. Spewing facts with direct, harsh communication. Now, here's where truth comes out. It's swift. It's bitter. It's harsh. It's direct. It's almost confrontational. It's where you can't get a word in edgewise, but it's truth. So listen, Pisces, some type of confrontation happening here. Question and answer session. Someone setting the record straight. Someone getting to the bottom of something. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Pisces. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Pisces. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Pisces. It is clarified with death. Could be dealing with a Scorpio, but death symbolizes to end something, only to begin something new. Death symbolizes transformation, rebirth. So listen, Pisces, very, very well could be dealing with a Scorpio here, but you can tell me that something is ending. Something could be starting new after an ending or some type of transformation or change here. Clarify death for Pisces. Clarify death for Pisces. Clarify death for Pisces. It is clarified with the three of cups again. Hi, so Pisces, listen, you can tell me that you have just cause to celebrate, yes? You can tell me that you guys are reuniting or there's a third party. Now listen, Pisces, you can tell me that there's a confrontation taking place here and things are ending because there's a third party here. But Pisces, very well could be that we're reuniting here and starting new after an ending, but someone is here to set the record straight or someone still has unanswered questions before we reunite. So we'll see. Pisces, you have the seven of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is having many options, but all of these options aren't viable. Now this can speak to confusion, wishful thinking, fantasy, illusions, but having many options. So listen, Pisces, you can tell me you're all up in your head fantasizing here. Yes, you can tell me there's some confusion. You can tell me that you need to make a choice. You can tell me there's lies and illusions or the fact that someone had other options and explored some of those other options. Clarify the Seven of Cups for Pisces. Clarify the Seven of Cups for Pisces. Clarify the Seven of Cups for Pisces. It is clarified with you, Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer, the Queen of Cups. This queen is a very loving, kind, compassionate queen. 
This is a nurturing queen. This is the mothering energy. She's very intuitive and psychic and she searches her emotions. So Pisces, this is you. Clarify the queen of cups for Pisces. Clarify the queen of cups for Pisces. What about Pisces? What about Pisces? Clarify the queen of cups for Pisces. It is clarified with the nine of cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is wish fulfillment, but this can also speak to you feeling smug or overindulging in alcohol or substance abuse. So listen, Pisces, very well could be getting your wish here. You can tell me that you're feeling smug or you're overindulging here. So listen, you could be all up in your head fantasizing here about getting your wish because you guys are reuniting. But Pisces, I hope you're not overindulging trying to numb out because they had other options and explore some of those other options or there was some type of lies or illusions. And listen, you better not be feeling smug because you're the one with these other options, okay? Coming with these illusions here, okay? We'll see. Pisces, you have the Ace of Cups. Mm. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is a brand new beginning in love. A brand new beginning in a deep emotional connection. This is love overflowing. A brand new blessing. A brand new beginning in love. So new love, new start to love, or a blessing here for you, Pisces. Clarify the Ace of Cups for Pisces. Clarify the Ace of Cups. For Pisces, clarify the Ace of Cups. For Pisces, it is clarified with the Two of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is, we see eye to eye, face to face. We are spiritually connected. We are one. We are meant to be. We are soulmates. Soulmates with a divine union, a divine connection. So Pisces, listen, very well could be dealing with your soulmate here, but you could also tell me that this is an agreement, okay? So you very well could be getting some type of blessing here with some type of an agreement and having just cause to celebrate, yes? However, you can tell me that, you know, you have this new love and this new era in love. But because this new love is showing up with this soulmate, is it you with these other options or a third party? Is someone else in the picture here? Someone you have a soulmate connection with? Or are you telling me that they had new love and you guys a soulmate connection here? We'll see. Pisces, you have the devil. Could be dealing with a Capricorn, but this devil energy can speak of a toxic energy that is looming over you guys' relationship. And what makes it toxic is this restrictive and binding. Someone may be obsessive, possessive, controlling, abusive. Someone may have an addiction to sex, drugs, drinking, smoking, working too much, money, attention, gambling, sports, video games, eating too much, anything that a person does too much of. Or someone here is in a full-blown relationship somewhere else causing this toxic energy to loom over you guys' relationship. So listen, Pisces could be dealing with a Capricorn, but when we're dealing with this devil energy, this can speak of something being toxic, restrictive, and binding. This can speak of a legal binding contract, but also temptation. Clarify the devil for Pisces. Clarify the devil for Pisces. Clarify the devil for Pisces. It is clarified with the Ten of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you feeling backstabbed and betrayed, humiliated, devastated, completely let down, completely let down. This is a ten, so this is an ending, an ending and betrayal. So Pisces, you're feeling a sense of betrayal, let down and devastation, yes? However, in tarot, tens are ending, so you could be coming out of feeling a sense of betrayal. So you're telling me that you're feeling a sense of betrayal because something is toxic, restrictive, and binding. I hope that you're not feeling a sense of betrayal based on some type of uh, agreement or a contract here. It seems like you got your hopes up, okay? You got your hopes up here. But we're finding out something, okay, that's causing someone to confront Pisces, you have the tower. The tower is Aries and Scorpio's energy. This is something that you don't see coming. Something that catches you completely off guard. Something that just rocks the foundation of you guys' relationship. This is a shock in our moment. A moment of revelation. Now this can be a shocking shakeup or a breakup. So Pisces, listen, very well could be a shocking surprise. Shocking revelation, something being revealed or a breakup. Clarify the tower. 
for Pisces. Clarify the tower. For Pisces. Clarify the tower. For Pisces. It is clarified with the two of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is juggling. Now, this can be juggling two ideas. Should I, should I? Will I, won't I? This can be you managing many things at once. Weighing up the pros and the cons. Or juggling two relationships. So Pisces, listen, you can tell me that you're weighing things up, trying to decide should you, shouldn't you? Yes. However, you can tell me that juggling was taking place here. Now, Pisces, it very well could be that you had just cause to celebrate. Someone got your hopes up here. Yes. And, you know, it's a shocking surprise. And but it's just it can go either way. It's up and down. I don't know. You know, however, Pisces. Are you breaking up because there was a shocking revelation of juggling taking place here? This is the betrayal making it toxic. Does your soulmate have new love here? Is this what the confrontation about? Because there is a third party and you're just trying to numb out, you know, get it off your mind. Pisces, this is your December 8th, 2022 Daily Tarot reading. You guys give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment and share and i'll see you guys next week peace